In a remark, the host and elder brother of the aspirant, Mr. Walter Rikosa, told the gathering that the aspirant Desmond Usaini Rikosa, who he now described as a star boy, is from a humble background but has acquired qualitative education. He said the people of Oredo East constituency and all physically challenged persons in the state will experience a turnaround and proper legislation if Usaini is given the opportunity to serve. I want to let everybody to understand that this aspirant we are talking about is not going to leave us. We have prayed for many aspirants before and they left us. But he is not going to leave us. He is going to take each and every one of us to the promised land. If there is, he is going to take us to the promised land. Seeing somebody like this that wants to shoulder the responsibility of the fiscal challenge. My message to him is that God should give him the strength of uh, accomplishments and all his endeavors for the disabled. I'm happy that he's representing my, my party and he's coming out from my word as well. I give him 100% of my support. I'm really praying that on that day that he should win the vote. Uh, first of all, uh, because I would like to this is the first time somebody like this remembers with the physical challenge. My appreciation right Independence Day. The Edo State House of Assembly aspirant for Oredo East constituency seat at Edo State House of Assembly, Mr. Desmond Usaini Rikusa, said he is determined to reposition method of legislation in the state for the general good of Edo people. These are the kind of people we should be running around with. These are the kind of people we should be having around us. At points like this, at points where Nigeria is celebrating independence, for me, 58 years of no visible implementation of the laws that govern these people is a shame on our part. They should be celebrated. My, my three disabled, they went to school, they graduated, they are all graduates, three of them they are graduates, because we love them, we live with them. These people that are supposed to contribute their quotas towards the development of the state and the country are relegated to the background. He's interacting with the physically challenged person. And it's one man I have known over the years. He's a fortright individual and it's one as an individual I can vouch for. Wellington Harkodeja reporting.